This presentation is going to review Live Data Cloud, which is a free feature included in the complete SCADA solution, opcsystems.net. With the original release of opcsystems.net, we've always been able to share data over the internet, but the data source needed a fixed IP address or dedicated registered domain name at the data source, and all clients could then use a standard internet connection to consume that data. Now it's possible to host data from your own systems with a standard internet connection. In this presentation, we're going to show you what data sources are possible for the Live Data Cloud and what client applications are possible with Live Data Cloud. In summary, for those that are familiar with our complete SCADA solution, it is all data sources and all client applications. All 15 features of the complete SCADA solution support the Live Data Cloud feature. To set up the Live Data Cloud feature, simply install the opcsystems.net software on a dedicated internet server that would be a fixed IP address or shared hosting service with a registered domain name. No software license is required on the dedicated hosting service, and this would be services that would be provided from companies like GoDaddy. And you can set up multiple hosting services if you'd like as well. Each data source service also has the opcsystems.net software installed with a license of the features that you want to enable. The data source can then connect to one or more hosting services which the client applications will then be able to connect to. With a standard internet connection you can host data sources from OPC servers, OPC clients, data from .NET applications, this would be web services, Windows applications, WinForm applications. You can have data come directly from a Microsoft Excel workbook Data can be obtained from databases like SQL Server, Oracle, Access, and MySQL. Any data that can be hosted in the real-time service of the OPC system service, including the free calculation engine, and also PLCs, distributed control systems, and proprietary controllers, all can be connected into the OPC system service as a data source. Each of the data source services are then connected to one or more hosting services, which the client applications will connect to. The hosting service can also be a consumer of the data directly. Client applications would include all of the data sources that are previously mentioned, which would be OPC servers, OPC clients, .NET applications, Microsoft Excel. We can log data to database engines in an open format with 100 nanosecond resolution and buffering when you have a temporary loss in network connection. OPC system services can also be client applications consuming data from the data sources through the hosting service. We can automatically transfer data to other PLCs, distributed control systems, and controllers. You can create HMI applications with no programming required with Visual Studio for WinForm, Windows Presentation Foundation applications, and web applications for smartphones. You can also provide real-time trending and historical trending, and alarming, alarm notification, and alarm logging to SQL Server, Oracle, Access, MySQL, and CSV files. Let's see how easy it is to set up the Live Data Cloud feature using opcsystems.net. Once you've installed the opcsystems.net software, both on the hosting service and at each of your data source systems, then you would go to the data source system and go to the program group opcsystems.net and start the Configure OPC Systems application. We'll select Configure Live Data Cloud and select the local service. For each hosting service that we want to enable the data source for, We'll select to enable hosting and specify that hosting server that we want to subscribe to. I'm going to use a dedicated internet server that we have hosted in Texas. Here you can put in a fixed IP address, network node name, or registered domain name as we see here. Next you'll specify the unique hosting name that you want this data service to be recognized as. That name can be anything you would like, but it must be unique for each hosting server that you subscribe to. I'm going to put in a hosting name called My PC. I then add that to the list of hosting services that I'm subscribed to and now data is available from my PC directly out over the internet through that opcsystemserver.com. At the hosting server you can enable or disable the ability for remote data sources to be able to connect to it for subscription. That is done under configure options. I'll specify the hosting server that we're using and I'll select that under configure options. Under the Networking tab, we have a property to Disable Live Data Cloud. When we click the Add button, we'll see a list of all data source servers that are subscribed to the hosting service. There I can see My PC in the list, so I'll click OK, and I will now allow 
my PC to be hosted through this hosting server. Back to the live data cloud configuration on my local PC, when I restart this computer, I probably want it to automatically connect to the hosting server. So I'll save that configuration to a file. And then under configure options of my local PC, I'll specify the default remote SCADA hosting file. Now when this computer restarts, it'll automatically connect to the remote hosting server. Now let's use some of the data. We can move off to any PC that's available on the internet. I'm going to use Microsoft Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new WPF application. And I'll use the WPF dashboard controls. I'll right click on the new gauge control and go to properties. And under the common properties, I'll select the value underscore tag property. And I'll browse for that. I'll then specify the hosting server name that's available on the internet and I want to hit the select button I have a list of all of the tags and also the ability to directly connect to OPC servers on that system but I also see under the live data cloud pull down box I see my PC I can then select my PC and I am now connected back to the original data source that's hosted with a standard internet connection I'll select an OPC systems.net tag, sign to. To demonstrate that we can also send data back to the Live Data Cloud hosted server, I'll use a WPF button. Under the Brushes OPC Systems group, I'll define the background color based upon a tag. I'll define that to pump value. There you can see the full syntax of the hosting server name, Let's take a closer look at the tag syntax when connecting to a live data cloud node. If you want to connect to a tag on a local service, use tag.value. Or if you're using or if you're connecting to an OPC server directly, you use the direct OPC syntax as the tag name. To connect to a remote service that has its own fixed IP address, you can just specify double backslash the server name, IP address, or registered domain name backslash and then tag dot value. That syntax is something you've been familiar with since 2004, the original release of OPC Systems.net. But now if you're hosting data with a standard internet connection at the data source and you want to consume the data directly on the hosting service, you would put in localhost as the hosting service connecting to itself and then remote SCADA hosting tells the system that the following tag name will include the hosting name in this example we've been looking at it's my PC followed by tag and value and if it's a client application connecting to a remote SCADA hosting node you would put in double backslash the server name followed by backslash remote SCADA hosting dot hosting name dot tag dot value so you can see the syntax is fairly simple. The server name would be a fixed IP address, regist fixed registered domain name on the internet, or network node name on your intranet. And then the hosting name is defined in the live data cloud configuration. In this example we're working with, it is my PC. I'll also set the set value tag property to that same pump value property. Now let's run the application and now we have the live data being served up from my PC directly over the internet and then being consumed in another client application. So you can see at both data source and client we're using standard internet connections just through a hosted server and the hosted server can support multiple clients and of course multiple data source servers. To demonstrate that the data is hosted on my own PC, I'll use configure tags. I'll select the local service and select that pump tag. I see that the value is currently true. If I change the value to false, I see that the indication on the button changes to red. And I can go back to the WPF application click on the button and I can change the value back to true.
All features of the complete SCADA solution opcsystems.net support the Live Data Cloud feature. This would also include the Configure application. When I go to Configure Tags and I select the hosted server name, I see a list of Live Data Cloud data sources. I can then select that and now I'm configuring tags on that data source server. And this would be true for all of the configurations for data logging, alarm logging, alarm notification, even the live data cloud feature itself can be remotely configured to those remote services. With opcsystems.net, you also have the ability to programmatically change configurations using the free to use OPC systems component. That is best demonstrated under the WinForm example application in the, under the program group opcsystems.net. There you'll find source code examples on how to configure all services programmatically from a .NET application. To configure remote data cloud nodes, simply include the hosting server name along with the remote hosting name that you've included for the live data cloud. All 15 product features of the complete SCADA solution support the live data cloud node. If you are interested in a live presentation of live data cloud, with data coming from your own PC, contact us. Visit the contact page under completescada.com or opcsystems.com or you can send an email to sales at livedatacloud.com to request a personal presentation. Or you can try it yourself from the downloads page at completescada.com or opcsystems.com. Download the opcsystems.net software and just follow the steps that I've listed in this video. With the Live Data Cloud feature, you can tie business applications together over the internet. You can transfer data from control system to control system using popular OPC servers like Kep Kepware, share data with third-party SCADA systems, and of course create your own SCADA solutions with no programming required with the components from OPCSystems.net for HMI, trending, alarming, 